Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, my name's Nicole. I do a bunch of different videos, makeup, and also like lifestyle type of things. I also do vlogs, that's my vlogging channel, the link's in the description. But anyway, today we are doing my everyday type of makeup look during the summer, something I throw on really quickly, no hassle, no fuss, a little bit messy, just quick, get out the door 10 minute makeup. That's a mouthful. <laughs> I'm sure that's not gonna be the title. But anyway, I've been loving throwing this kind of look on. It's very quick, like I said, and I've been loving this like cherry pouty lip look that's been going on at the moment and I loved using this. This is the Essie Essence, Essence Juicy Bomb Lip Gloss. I love it. It smells like cherries. It's very pouty. Like I mm, love it. Easy. If you want to see how I did this, let's get started. Good morning guys. I am sat on my dress it's not a dressing table, is it my makeup table, my desk where I work too. I don't know. Um I'm just gonna get ready for like my everyday type of thing and literally it hasn't been that much it really hasn't um my voice is still croaky because like i said it's, it's morning i'm getting ready for the day so the first thing that i grab is this the lasting perfection collection lasting perfection concealer you can't really see it because on my face right now but um let's begin so take my little friend's mirror and i haven't been using foundation so been using this I'm moisturized and SPF'd up I literally I apply it on like the scars or any imperfections I might have at the moment I haven't really been touching my skin too much like mostly because it's been hot and um and I sweat all off although today it's very much very <laughs> but regardless it's been like everyday like summer like panty makeup and been loving it so I decided to share it with you guys. Okay. Put them all over the place to try to even the skin tone out a little bit. Yes, it's a little bit too light for me right now, but I'll just blend it so enjoy a little blending. There we go. Um I do apply a little tiny bit more right in the little hollows of my eye socket because I have quite dark, quite dark under eye circles. So needs a little bit more help in that area. There we go. That's what we look like. Um, I can't really see anything because I don't have my glasses on. Um, but next, I literally do not set it, and this is very unlike me, but I've been loving it, like, just leaving it like that, because it just comes off as it does, and it's quite even, whereas with powder, um, because I'm not wearing foundation, you can't really see it, so, I don't know. Then I move on to another cream product. This is the Rival de Loop Sweatproof Long Lasting Eyeshadow Stick. I absolutely love this. It's in the dark bronze shade. It looks like this is the Stick, eyeshadow stick so I don't know if you can see that right there but um <laughs> I'm super croaky I literally just put this in like an oval half moon shape on my eye like honestly this is the easiest makeup I've ever done I think then I grab a little blending brush what are ow <laughs> found it right and I literally just blend it out. I don't touch it too much from the middle, just the outer corner. And I blend it out like so and like left to right motions, windshield wiper motions. So like quick, 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 quick. And don't worry if it gets too dark because it's a clean product. Oop, sorry, that's my phone. I should have turned that off. That noise is a positive like um, affirmation type of thing that I always get um, in the morning. So I think if I'm having a shitty day, that's actually very uplifting. That's roughly blended out like that. And then I go in over it again to intensify a little bit more. Just so I can get a little bit more of the shimmer, you know? So I'm just gonna kind of like pat the edges. Because it's already blended and it's the same shade, so it's super easy to do. And then when it comes to the outer corner, I kind of just wing it out like that. Then I grab my sponge again and whatever kind of like went under, I kind of just clean it up like this. Then I grab the stick once more and then the little brush that I've been using. I just put it under my eye a little bit. Just so I have some kind of shade there. 
And then what I do is I grab this palette, which I've been loving. It's the Essence Out in the Wild eyeshadow palette, and it looks like this. I love it because it has a bunch of leaves, and um, it's looking like this. Um, it has like brownie shimmery shades with like loads of green and that is like the perfect palette for me because I have hazel eyes and they're mostly green but it has a little bit of brown running through it. Um, and yeah I just love this because honestly you have no idea how helpful they are. I grabbed this middle shade right here. Oh you can see yourself. Hello. I grabbed this middle shade right here. They have no names, I'm just showing you. Um, I'm literally just putting it on a flat shader brush and then I pat it in, which like matches this um, eyeshadow stick shade perfectly. I love it. And I literally pat it all over the place. Yes, um, some eyeshadow will fall all onto my cheek, but don't worry, we haven't set the face so it's like really easy to remove or flick off. But just make sure I get the whole lid. Um, and then go a little bit upwards so I can blend that out. Then I grab this shade right next to it, which is like um, a matte brown. That's a shimmering, that's a matte brown. Um, and I just grab it with any like blending brush really, and I kind of just do this. To blend the outer part of the eyeshadow. Like I said, it's my everyday makeup and I want it to be like quite like messy, like oh I threw it on in like five minutes. Um, and that's all I did. So I go over the edges with this. And it doesn't matter if you get it like onto the concealer or anything, like we're gonna clean it up. That's the beauty of doing this like messy messily. You can just like blend that out. So the creams really help the eyeshadows to stick and like obviously the pigment to go through. There we go. Um and then just for a pop of colour, I grab the same shader brush and then the shimmery shade over on this side, which is this one right here. I grab this shimmery shade, which is slightly lighter and like more coppery, slightly gold, and I just apply this to the center of the lid. It's very minimal, you can't really see it, but you can see it when the light hits up the center, it's like slightly lighter, which gives us the little halo effect and not, it's not just like one, just one shade, which, I mean, can look really good, but because it's a little bit darker, I do want something to shine in the middle to give it a little bit of dimension. Not that we're being super specific here or anything, but I just literally put it and drag it messily all over the centerpiece. Center part centerpiece. <laughs> and just blend that out. And that's literally all I do um, for the lids. Um, then I grab another like clean brush without the hair poking through and try to flick off the rest of the eyeshadow. That might have fallen off. Oh yeah, and before I move on, um, I only really do this if I feel like it, but I would usually leave it like this, but to give it an extra little oomph, to make my eyes pop a little bit, I kind of put this black on the outer corner and on all over my waterline, so top and bottom. And you can see it got a little bit messy, so then I grab this like, tiny brush and kind of just blend the black throughout so it connects to the outer corner, and this like can get a bit messy, I'm not gonna lie to you not the cleanest of applications but like I said I'm kind of going for like the messy I have five minutes to put this together kind of look because that's usually the case in the morning and then after like the black blended through I grabbed the the matte brown shade that I was using to blend everything out and just literally pat it on top to kind of like diffuse that a bit and then I go in with the shimmer that we used all over the place which is right next to it and literally just put that Oh. Now I grab the brush and do that. <laughs> and I'm gonna do the same on the other eye now. There we go. I've got both of the eyes down. Now I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes and apply some mascara. I'm using the Lash Paradise Waterproof Mascara by L'Oreal. I love this stuff. Put mascara on both my top and bottom lashes and then I do the other eye. And um, it doesn't matter if it gets messy, like I said, we're going to clean up. we still got the rest of the face to do, so we can clean up later. There we go! We've got the eyes done, they're set. The only thing I need to do is kind of like blend this in, but I will after I do my face, so. 
for my bronzer, I'm going to use this Rival Hearts Me Loves Me Sun Powder. It's in the shade 2 Matte Terra. It's slightly too dark for my skin tone, but it's fine. We can pull these kind of things off anyway because it's summer, so it's fine. Um, but I'm just going to literally tap a little bit here and there because I don't want it to be too intense at first and then we're going to blend everything. And I do give myself kind of like a mask to make it seem like the sun has kissed my bronzer done. I just put a little bit on my forehead because my forehead naturally does get um, darker than the rest of my face. My forehead and like literally right here, <laughs> but I was like putting bronzer here. Um, a little bit on my neck, chin, and we're done. Then for blusher, I use this Catrice Cosmetics Blush Box Water and Sweat Proof Blush. Now this blush really does last a while. I'm not sure if it's waterproof and sweatproof. I haven't really tested that out. Um, but it's in the shade 040 Berry. Um, and it just says blend the world and it's so cute. Um, I really like this shade. It's like an everyday kind of like pink. Berry pink. So, whoop, there goes my phone again. And I grabbed this and I put this from the apple of my cheek like upward to kind of lift the face a bit. And then I rub it into my apples. Slightly under my eyes, kind of. Because that's where I usually get super red and like sunburnt. And that's how my freckles come out. Grab a little bit more. And then the same thing on this cheek. And then a little bit here and here on my skin and there. Same thing. Now this is where I fix anything that might have happened, that any mess that might have happened. So I grab a little bit of the concealer again. Then I just kind of like tap it here. Just two little dots to kind of relift the face. Oh my god, I'm getting really <clears throat> There we go. Um so I just grab my sponge and I always squeeze it. If you have a smaller one, then definitely use that one. Mine's currently dirty, so I'm not doing anything rid of it. I kind of just you see how I'm going in like a line upwards? That's the goal of it. And because we haven't really set anything, perfect! Cleans it right up. Look at that. Compared to this side. And then if you're still missing a little bit and you're like, oh, the eyeshadow fell under my eye, I need a little bit of coverage. Just add a, like, a dot or two to blend that again. Just slightly, because like a little goes a long way with this concealer. And I kind of really drag it into my inner corner. There we go. And then I'm going to grab my blush again just to kind of get that effect that I did last time. My blush brush, sorry. <laughs> there we go. Nice and rosy and summery. Now for highlighter, I'm using this Becca Opal um, Shimmering Skin Perfector. I'm so sad that they're discontinuing their products. Like, I really love their highlighters. I don't know what I'm going to do without them. I'm thinking of placing a chunky order. Apparently in September they're going to stop production or something or like all the products are gone or they're gonna close down the company, something like that. Um, but yeah, I grabbed Opal. Now this is definitely like my summer shade because I cannot pull this off without the huge amounts of bronzer and blush that I put on. Um, and it kind of just gives it that glow. Do you see that? Put it all over the place because I do like my skin to look super glowy. Especially in the summer. And it might be a little bit OTT, but I like blending it. And here, not in the middle of my forehead, because my forehead does get oily throughout the day. So, that has a lot of glow. <laughs> my nose too, that's usually on the side, so I kind of just like, put all over the place, blend it out. You know, stay there forever, and then again, grab my blush brush. And diffuse the apples of my cheeks. Just so it has like a pinky shimmering effect. And that's essentially what I do. Um, for my eyebrows, I haven't really been doing much to my eyebrows because they've been just looking crazy and definitely need like some threading. But I don't want to touch my brows anymore because I feel like I'm wrecking them. So I just grabbed this brow pencil. It's a micro brow pencil, a brow defined micro brow pencil by the brand MUA Makeup Academy. It's just a standard black one. Um, I got them off um, Beauty Bay. And it's in the shade black, I think. But anyway, I just kind of messily fill my brows in to kind of give it some shape. Trust me, I do not do much these days because I cannot be asked 
to do brows properly. <laughs> I just fill in the gaps like that. Very messily. There you go. More or less like that. And I grab my spoolie, my brow spoolie, and literally just blend that in. I kind of like rub the front part and then just brush everything through. If anything gets out of hand, I just use my sponge again and my finger to kind of like get it back into place. And then whatever I kind of like rubbed off that I wanted it to stay there, I kind of just go on top of it like this. Brush it once more, very, very gently this time. There we go, I can't really be asked to do much else. And last, but by no means least, we grab ourselves the gloss. So the star of the show is this um, duo right here. I grabbed the Essence Soft and Precise Lip Pencil in the shade um, 06 Real. And basically I overdraw my lip on the top. So like right here. Kind of follow the Cupid's bow area. I do round it out a little bit more because I want it to give that super pouty center effect. Just even at the bottom. With a lip brush, I kind of just blend this out onto the rest of the lip line. Be careful though because this is a little bit darker than my natural lip color. Just rub it a bit. I do that and then I grab my gloss which is the Essence Juicy Bomb in the shade 04 Crazy Cherry and it smells and tastes like cherries which I love. And I just put it all over my lips. And that's how I get the overall super pouty cherry look. Like I've been eating cherries all day or something. I love it, it smells amazing. Um, last but not least, I use this Rival de Loop sweat, sweat Proof Oil Control Setting Spray. I shake it and then I spritz, oh god. Cause I do tend to get a little bit sweaty during the summer. And this is it, this is the final look. This is like my everyday type of makeup. Sometimes I'll do a little bit less, like I won't do the black. I really love how the black looks though with this eye makeup thing. Sometimes I don't really bother for my eyebrows and I just put like brow gel over it. I haven't done that today, but like I said, it's either or. Um, if I wanna go for super quick, I'll literally just do like the cream eyeshadow stick and then we're good to go mascara and do like the rest of my face the same. Um, but yeah, the only thing I really change is whether I use black and then the powder eyeshadow, the eyeshadow palette, and my eyebrows, or I don't. Like, that's literally the only thing I change. Um, so yeah, I love it. It makes me feel, like, a little bit more put together. It's very comfortable, so, like, you can touch your face and, like, yeah, some of it might come off, but it rubs off, like, evenly, I want to say, throughout the day. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. It's more of, like, a sit-down, casual, everyday type of thing, obviously. <laughs> And um, yeah, I really appreciate you watching. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my vlogging channel if you're interested in more like chill, everyday type of things, a day in the life videos, what I'm up to, me going to the gym, cooking, going to new places, going to bookstores and stuff like that. If you're into that stuff, then um, the vlogging channel is always linked down below and at the end screen you can check out my vlog. And yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on my next one. Bye!